Hello and welcome to Lobajit Gaming and welcome to another Steam Summer Sale video. So this time we are going for Metroidvania. So 2D platformers with a bit of a story and some difficult combat, some backtracking stuff like that. So let's get into this with some of the best ones we know of. Hollow Knight, probably the best Metroidvania on the market. Beautiful looking game, art style is fantastic, music is wonderful. There's a big world, big map. So yeah, you are basically a bug knight and you have to explore this vast underground city and yeah, kill off enemies and stuff like that. It's just so beautiful that even people who are not into games, when they look at something like this, they do like it. I've seen like family members and stuff. They do spot this and say, ah, what is this? This is nice. So, and it is pretty nice. So over 200, uh, 250,000 positive reviews quarter of a million and this is 50 percent off 749 dollars 345 uh, in india 639 in the uk and 974 in canada next is dead cells so another very fun game um, i like the movement and the music even better in this one even though overall i think hollow knight is just a better looking game but here i prefer the music this is also fun very satisfying combat, very fluid movement, and once again, overwhelmingly positive. They also do a lot of DLCs, which helps add more content. 50% off for the base game, $12.49, $3.14 in India, £11.15 Canada, and $12.5 in the Eurozone. Next is Ori and the Blind Forest. So these two Ori games have been hugely successful for Xbox, and they are wonderful games. I have played and finished this game on stream. Kind of hard for me because I was not into a lot of these style of games. But very beautiful again. Emotional story. And yeah, a very, very nice looking game. So this is... Um, okay, let's see this one here. Because they don't sell the base version anymore. This is the version we want. A definitive edition. $5, $3.24 in India. $3.74 in the UK. $6.24 in Canada. And $5. Euros. Great price for a very very good game now they also have a sequel to this Ori and the will of the wisps sort of continues from where the first one left off and even better graphically as you can see here once again overwhelmingly positive reviews another great game 75 percent off 749 dollars 174 in india 624 in the uk and 10 in canada you can also get the complete bundle with both the games at 78 percent off so next is rain world I haven't had too much experience of this but I have mentioned this game once or twice here and there and people have generally said this is a very good game so more pixel art here you play as a slug cat I don't know what that is but this is set in like an industrial wasteland and you are both a predator and a prey so you prey on smaller things I suppose and there are bigger creatures that attack you so you have to survive and you know thrive in this uh, industrial wasteland it doesn't look too bad even with this style of graphics 60% off $10.440 in India $8.39 in the UK and $13 in Canada $9.80 in the Eurozone next is Ender Lily's Quietus of the Night so another game set in like a fallen kingdom and stuff like that you play as a little girl and you have these fallen knights by your side that help you fight off these creatures uh, again great game I have actually installed this one. I want to give this a try. Um, available on all platforms, stuff like that. So it's got more RPG elements as well. And this is 50% off. 1249 dollars 290 in India, 11 in the UK, 15 in Canada, and 1249 in the Eurozone. Generally, the reviews are saying that it's a great game. Give it a try. You'll like it. That sort of thing. Next is Blasphemous. So another famous game here. It's a brutal 2D Souls-like game interesting art style um, and yeah quite uh, another game where you have to save humanity from the curse and stuff like that and all of humanity and their fate rests in your hand yada yada and yeah there's a sequel announced here as well there's a demo you can try 75 percent off 624 dollars 500 in india 499 in the uk 724 in canada 624 in the eurozone this was also given away by epic so you may already have it download try it out and yeah reviews are very good for this one now this might be the most fun looking of them all here this is rogue legacy 2 and 
this one, the interesting thing they have here is that when you die, you die and your children succeed you. Every time you die, your child succeeds you and basically you can get a mix of different uh, characters. You could get an archer as they say here. So it says here, let me just read it because this is like the best explanation. Rogue Legacy is what you get if you match Rogue Legacy and a sequel together. Every time you die, your child will succeed you. And each child is unique. Your daughter might be a colorblind archer and your son could be a pacifist chef. Either way, one of them is getting conscript. So this alone just sounds so fun and definitely worth the look. And plus the art style is very colorful and more fun than some of the others that are dark and uh, mysterious and sad looking words, I guess. So this is 35% off. $16.24, $7.15 in India, $13.64 in the UK and $21.12 in Canada. Pricing isn't the best here, especially regional price seems a little high, so we hope we get this in a humble bundle or something. Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. So this was in a humble bundle not too long ago. And this is another game that got a lot of attention when it first came out. This is very much inspired by the old Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Apart from the name and slight story being different, it is heavily inspired by that. In fact, I think it's made by the original creator or something, or people who worked on it. So basically, um, very stylized looking world. You are this girl called uh, Miriam, who is fighting a curse that slowly crystallizes her body. So you have to defeat all these creatures and again, save yourself and save humanity. Graphic and art style is very good. I played this from the game pass and the only thing I did not like was that she constantly makes, you know, those jumping sounds and uh, ah, who's type sounds that got a bit annoying because you hear the same sound over and over every time you jump, every time you do anything. That was like the only thing that was driving me nuts. So this is 70% off, $12, $7.50 in India, $10.49, in the UK, 16 in Canada, 12 euros. Next is another new game I did not know much about and this only came out in April. This is After Image. So hand-drawn 2D adventure with fast-paced combat and non-linear levels as they say here. It looks good um, graphically as well. There's some looks like an underwater level here. And this is 20% off because it's a newish game, I guess. $20, 15 519 in India, 1679 in the UK, and 2399 in Canada. Skull the Hero Slayer. So, guide Skull on his quest to single handedly take on the Imperial Army and rescue his king from captivity in an action packed roguelike 2D platformer for the ages. Uh, we'll be the judge of that. So, yeah, as you can see here, people are generally positive about this. Uh, kind of disappointed, not saying it's bad though. So even the negative reviews are not that harsh, I guess. And this is 40% off, $12, 528 in India, 929 in the UK and 1367 in Canada, 10 uh, euros and seven cents. Now, if I'm being honest here, I've had this on my wish list for a while, but for some reason, I get the feeling this will be free on Epic. <laughs> and so far I have not bought it simply because of that because first I was surprised it wasn't already free and then I thought maybe it might be free soonish so far we haven't seen this but yeah it, it should be I feel but anyway it is on sale if you are really interested in this one Convergence a League of Legends story so I put this here because of the League of Legends thing I don't know much about League of Legends but I thought some of you may be interested so traverse the sprawling city of Zaun as Echo a young inventor with the device to manipulate time in the story driven action platformer collect parts craft gadgets and unlock abilities then rewind time to adapt your approach to every new challenge again sounds interesting uh, time manipulation here there's another game uh, with time manipulation later on but yeah this is another interesting concept in this 2d platformer style games so 20 percent off kind of expensive if i'm honest here uh, sometimes i just put these games here so you can Put them on your wish list and pick them up later when they're at a more reasonable price at least trying to bring more games to your attention so this is 24 dollars 1040 in india 20 pounds 32 in canada and 24 in the eurozone next we have little noah scion of paradise so join the genius alchemist noah 
and her cat companion Zipper as they explore ancient ruins to uncover the secrets hidden with it. Create unique teams and combos from 40 recruitable allies in this casual but competitive game. So at least this is on the casual side. So I guess it's more uh, family friendly, I guess, or more easier to play with, I guess. Again, graphically looks nice. I don't know, is it only in uh, Japanese or Chinese? Is it? I'm not sure. Because we are seeing these prompts here that a cat is talking apparently. So this is 50% off. $749, $229 in India, $569 in the UK and $874 in Canada, $749 in the Eurozone. Next is Salt and Sanctuary, so another brutal, um, stylized, you could say, Metroidvania. This one is more fast-paced and has more RPG elements as well. Uh, looks interesting with its sort of black and white style uh, art. Well, not necessarily black and white, I guess. But yeah, very dark, depressing looking game, if I'm honest. And this is 75% off, $449, 139 in India, 339 in the UK, 499 in Canada. Was also free from Epic. Shante and the Seven Sirens. So this is a sort of a well-known series. There are quite a few games. This is the fifth one in the series. And um, I thought these were pixel art games because I think one of these was given away on uh, Humble, uh, on GOG, I think, a while ago. And that was more pixelated. This one is definitely more sort of cartoony graphics and not the usual pixelated stuff. So looks fun again. And it says here, you gain new fusion magic abilities to explore a vast sunken city, make uh, new half genie friends and battle the seven sirens. The biggest, most thrilling quest yet. So it's from 2020, more recent game. And yeah, it looks very nice and colorful once again. This is 50% off, $15, 349 in India, 1189 in the UK, 17 in Canada, 1249 in the Eurozone. The Messenger, so a bit of a ninja themed game here and it was also free from Epic. I like the art style here, very, very good. And also the reviews are very positive, 90% here. So Demon Army besieges his village, young ninja ventures through the first world to deliver a scroll, paramount to his clan survival. So yeah, classic action adventure, very nice looking game here in fact. And yeah, also like reminds me a lot of the older games here. 75% off, $5, $2.20 in India, $4.18 in the UK, $6.49 in Canada, $4.87 in the Eurozone. Pronti, so found a new one here and I like this. This is in an underwater setting and you have to guide Pronti and his javelin partner Pront. Uh, as it defends the once great city of Royla, explore the deep sea, fight mutant sea creatures and discover secrets behind this new Atlantis and this beautiful action-packed adventure. This is going on my watch list because this looks absolutely beautiful. This is 50% off, $9, 384 in India, 7 pounds, 10, 24 in Canada, 7.49 in the Eurozone. Next is Moon Scars. So I have played this, I can't remember where from. It was in the Game Pass or maybe in the Humble subscription. And um, I forgot the name of the character, but you are like not a human, but you are just made by like a maker from clay or something I don't know like you are a statue that comes to life or something like that and you have to fight in this sort of depressing dark haunting world I liked the music here and the setting but it did feel a bit like uh, you know those movies that come out just before the Oscar season Oscar bait type of movies it kind of felt like that like it was like already trying to be good and before it's good or something like that uh, but it was actually interesting I liked uh, some of the gameplay elements here. And this is 30% off, $14, 517 in India, 11 pounds, 18.89 in Canada, and 40 euros. Fist Forged in Shadow Torch. So this is a very good looking 2D, 2.5D style of platformer. You have these animals who are basically fighting against some evil corporate empire and stuff and you are this rabbit with with a giant mechanical wrist on your back so you have to use that to fight all the creatures and enemies looks very good art style is very good graphics are amazing i played the demo of this and it was good and also this was given away by epic i think in december and i was really happy to get this one because it's kind of an expensive game on its own so this is 50 percent off 15 dollars six 
649 okay it's a bit cheaper now 649 in India 1249 in the UK and 20 in Canada time spinner so this game has been on my wish list for years and some have not been able to get around to buying it because this is the sort of art style that I like quite a lot it's pixel art but it's a little different it's like a bit more detailed if that makes sense some games have this feel you know that metal slug type of game where it is pixely but a little more um, stylish or you could say artistic or whatever it just looks better especially if you can see the backgrounds here so basically another game with some time travel element and it says here travel back in time to change fate itself in this beautifully crafted story driven adventure inspired by the classic 90s action platformers good reviews 80 percent here and this is uh, 70 percent off six dollars 158 in india 449 in the uk 659 in canada and 599 in the eurozone owl boy so another beautiful looking game this one you are an owl boy with wings and you explore uh, in the clouds in the air islands in the air with a beautiful story graphics again looks fantastic and it says here pick up your friends bring them with you as you explore the open skies was one of the most detailed adventures of this era um, I've had this on my wish list as well I don't know if I did buy it at some point I haven't played it but yeah this is something I would like to try at some point this is 65% off $874 $216 in India $664 in the UK and $979 in Canada $8 euros so that's a list of 21 uh, Metroidvanias let me know if you have discovered anything new here and also with all the other videos do mention what you have bought from this sale because I'm curious to know what sort of games people are getting into and what is popular these days and if any of my videos have been useful in finding some hidden gems but yeah thank you once again see you in the next one